Hey, good morning. It's Friday. And I know you're getting ready to celebrate this weekend. So I know I'm going to take a nice break this weekend and enjoy the family and fellowship and friends. Uh, but I want to remind you that as much as we are celebrating the freedom and the independence of America, I want you to celebrate the freedom that God has given you. Okay. Galatians chapter five, one, it says for freedom. Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. It's because of Christ we're free. I understand what's happened, you know, what was signed, the Declaration of Independence for America to be free. But that's not why we're free. We're free internally before we're free externally. And God already declared that we were free when his son came to set us free. We've been on this quest of independence from the beginning, right? From Adam and Eve, wanting to do their own thing. Whether it was curiosity or whether it was being enticed by the enemy. We've been on this quest of independence. The only issue is that God didn't create us to lead ourselves and be self-sufficient. <laughs> Our freedom is in him because when we come up under his rulership, right? He supplies us with everything that we need. So I hope this scripture encourages you that you are free and who the son has set free is free indeed. You don't have to be in bondage to fear. You don't have to be afraid of people's opinions and what they and their unrealistic expectations of you, right? You can forgive yourself. You can let the weight of the past go and you can walk in freedom. Celebrate the freedom that God has given you because he said that, the old things have passed away and all has become new. So if you love the Lord, listen, enjoy your freedom because there's nothing that he will withhold from them that love the Lord. God bless you and enjoy your freedom.